P90 pickups until I owned this guitar, I didn't really get them. I feel like the difference between Strat or Tele style single coils versus humbuckers is immediately clear. You know when you're listening to a Strat and you know when you're listening to a Les Paul or any other solid body electric with humbuckers in it. But for me personally, even though I'd heard P90s in countless videos and on records, I didn't feel like I knew their sound until I got this guitar. And this is an Eastman SB56. It's a beautifully handcrafted guitar equipped with a pair of Lawler Soap Bar P90s. I've owned it for two, maybe three months now. And today I'm gonna to play through some of the sounds that this guitar has to offer. I'm also gonna offer some insight into how I think P90s stack up against what most guitar players would think of when they hear the term single coil pickup as well as humbuckers. But before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Ross Campbell, welcome to my channel. The first thing I noticed about P90s when I got that guitar is that they do a great job of blending into a range of playing styles. For example, clean tones on that guitar sound beautifully crisp and glassy with a little bit more low end than what you would get with uh, Strat style single coils. <laughs> could be to do with the fact that the guitar is quite heavy and it's built of mostly mahogany, but throw on a distortion pedal and the pickups seemingly take on a new life. They respond more like humbuckers. It's as if they know, okay, it's time to rock out and they react by adding some mid-range bite and growl. Now they don't sound exactly like humbuckers, of course. There is still some twanginess to the tone, but I feel like it's a very different experience to applying a lot of gain to the bridge pickup on a Strat, for example. Using the volume knob on each pickup doesn't just lower the volume and clean things up, it actually gives you an impressive range of very usable tones with each number. You're about to hear me play through a crunch tone with a decent amount of gain, and when I roll my volume back to around 4, I want you to listen to how the tone just transforms from this nice saturated drive to a glassy, pristine clean tone. <laughs> To my ears that almost sounds like I'm on a clean channel with the guitar's volume at 10 as opposed to what I'm actually doing which is using an overdrive pedal and adjusting the volume controls on the guitar to get a clean sound. I've heard Jared James Nichols say similar things about his signature guitar, he's a big P90 fan. The volume control gives you a very usable range of tones that are all slightly unique in their own way. And it's the same thing with this instrument here. Um, I've not played through a lot of P90s in the 14 years that I've been playing guitar for, 
this is the first guitar I've ever owned with P90s, but I'm guessing that that's a common trait of this pickup type. And if that's the case, then I'm all about that. I think that's great. One other thing I really like about them is that this is obviously based on a Les Paul, right? It's a mahogany body with a maple cap, mahogany neck and ebony fingerboard. Now, if this guitar had humbuckers in it, I would expect it to sound quite bass heavy, especially on the neck pickup because that's been my experience with my actual Gibson Les Paul standard and pretty much every other Les Paul that I've had the chance to play, which isn't a bad thing. I love Les Pauls with humbuckers in them, but it can be a challenge to get light and not overly thick tones out of them. However, with P90s, that's not really an issue. It's quite easy to dial in a nice jangly clean sound that would work great for, let's say, funk rhythms, for example. So with everything that I've mentioned and demonstrated in this video, I think it would be fair to say or fair to argue that P90s are perhaps the most versatile pickup type out there. You might disagree. If you do, then feel free to leave a comment explaining why. Actually, maybe I'd tie them with tele pickups for most versatile, but it's certainly a close one, I think. The only downside is given that they are single coils, they can get a bit noisy if you're using a lot of gain with them. but that is just the nature of single coil pickups. All right, that does it for today's video. I'd like to take a quick moment to say hello and thank you to all of my new subscribers who have arrived within the past month or so. I'm really glad to have you here. And if you have suggestions for future content that you'd like to see on this channel, then feel free to leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. As always, if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, it would be great if you could like it, share it with your guitar playing friends, click subscribe if you haven't already, and also click the notifications bell to never miss a new video. Once again, thank you for watching. My name is Ross Campbell, and I'll see you in the next one.